Oh, so sorry, you caught me in the middle of singing Preach You the Word. You probably couldn't tell that by my one word there. But the parable of the sower. Remember, parables are those, those stories, those narratives in which Jesus teaches us something about the Father, about himself. And today, the parable of the sower, we are taught about the Word. And the Word is a great thing. The What does the Word of God do? And Jesus teaches with the sower, right? The sower goes out and he just scatters the seed. He's not planting it carefully, right? Like Franzman says in his hymn, Preach You the Word, he sows his reckless love, scattering abroad the goodly seed, a tent alone that all may have the wholesome loaves that all men need. So he scatters the seed. He throws there where some falls on, on the road, some falls on, on thorny ground, some or rocky ground, some falls in the thorns, and then some falls in good soil. And the reality is, we would like to think, well, which, which soil am I? Which one am I? Am I, am I the good soil? Am I the, the rocky ground? Am I the pathway? Am I the thorny area? Which of these four am I? Because the reality is the word is the same for all. And the word is the gospel, the saving message of Jesus Christ, that you are saved from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil because of the blood, wounds, and death of Jesus. The reality is you're all four. You're all four soils. Are there times where the word of God goes in one ear and out the other? Yeah. You you pay attention to the first minute of the reading, but let's say it's a reading from like the creation account. You pay attention to day one and two. You skip day three and four. Then you're like, oh, how do we get to five? And that happens to us, right? In one ear and out the other, and the devil comes and snatches us up before we're even aware of it. And then you have the rocky ground, and that's where the Word of God hits, but it it, it goes in a little bit. It sinks in a little bit, but then it just stops, And, and, and that's our hardened hearts, our sinful condition, that we are corrupted by sin so that even when the Word does sink in a little bit, it doesn't do much to us. It doesn't really change us. Our heart is still made of stone rather than being a heart made of flesh. That is a home for the Holy Spirit. And then you have the third one, and this is most of us on a daily basis, is it grows in the thorns. So the Word of God, we're, we're, we're strong in it, but we also have all these worldly cares and concerns. We have these worldly desires. We have these worldly anxieties. Rather than having a righteous despair given by the Holy Spirit, in which we cling to Jesus' cross alone as our only hope, we now kind of grow up in the Word mixed in with worldly thoughts, desires, burdens, and doubts. Then you have the good soil. And none of us are this by nature because of sin. We're corrupted. There's only one who is this good soil, and that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. He is the one that received the word of the Father, Christ said to his beloved son, it's time to have compassion, right? Like we sing in hymn 556, dear Christians, one and all rejoice. And Jesus did it. He fulfilled the Father's will. Even though you and I are never finished with anything in our life, Jesus finished salvation for you on the cross that we may be delivered from the jaws of hell. Jesus did it. He soaked in the word and produced fruit a hundredfold, fruit of salvation and forgiveness for you, so that now you, who are that seed on the pathway, you who are that rocky ground and that thorny area, may be converted anew into good soil, that just as Christ received, now your heart has been made new in Christ, and you receive that same word, and that word now works on you, nourishes you, strengthens you, and guides you through this pilgrimage unto eternity. So take heart, my friends. That word is constantly sown. It's always going to be thrown out for you no matter where you're at in life, no matter if it's going in one ear and out the other, bouncing off the heart or trying to compete with the world. That word is still preached to you. It's still given to you. God is never silent, but always sends out his word to do his work. So be at peace there. Christ has done all things well for you that you may bear fruit a hundredfold. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.